Happy Friday. It's the Andy and Dave Daily right here on the Muskegon Channel. Andy O'Reilly, Dave Cackley. Did you see what I got to do yesterday? No, I did not. Didn't you really? No, I, I really didn't. I didn't know what you were doing. All right, so yesterday I I had some plans to do a couple of stories for the Muskegon Channel and whatnot, and uh-huh. when they fell apart. So my buddy Scott Lewis that runs Lewis's Farm Market up there in uh, New Era. Okay. You're, you've never been there, have you? I, New Era, no, I've never you gotta been. you got to go to this thing this fall. It's gonna, Max will love it. But anyway, okay. he calls up. He says, "Hey, we got to get you know talk about the season." Blah blah blah. Come on up. All right. So I run up to a New Era. They put in lemurs, those little monkey looking raccoon looking things from Madagascar. Okay. Yeah. And literally, I got to hold their hands. Oh my gosh! They are like these tiny little leathery, gentle. It was just the coolest thing ever, and you know, it's, it's not like everybody can get in and, and touch these things because they're yeah. remarkably little fragile animals. But I, I, I said to Scott, I said, "Hey, can I step over the fence?" He goes, "Yeah, all right, go ahead." <laughs> so I stepped over the fence and I put my hand up there, and these 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 remarkable little animals are like they're touching my hand and they're feeling it, and I was like, "Wow, that was pretty cool, man. That was lucky." So they weren't scared. They weren't scared of you. This giant hulking man well, steps you know, into their my territory. Is calming. Oh. <laughs> See, yes. people see me and they know that they're, you know, they're they're in right. good hands. You know, there's a little yes. bit of brawn there. Uh-huh. There's a little bit of bravado. I don't go around pushing people out of the way. No. You know, so it, it was it was really kind of remarkable. And then on top of that, and I forgot to bring it down. I'm so mad. I bought a nice big cherry uh, strudel. Fantastic. It was great. It was it's really good. Uh, I was going to eat it in front of you, but I forgot it upstairs. Nice to nice to see you're eating healthier. Well, it's good stuff. Glad. Think about it. You got you got fruit. Yes. You got and strudel. You, all the good stuff that goes into strudel, and, and you know that that frosting on the top that's got to uh, have some some kind. That's of That's got calcium. Yeah. Yeah. Something. So some type great of day up at yeah. Lewis's Farms. They've got these lemurs. They put in a, a couple other new attractions, and there's great place. Okay, lemurs are like monkeys, right? It's kind of like a monkey. Basically, it looks a little I was like say. a cross between a monkey and a raccoon. Okay. Yeah. But more like, monkey but more monkey than raccoon because raccoons are raccoon, filthy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Really a lot of fun, Good though. to know. Yeah, Max would love Max would actually love he loved the monkey cages at uh, John Ball Zoo, so I'm sure he would love You know what you need Alimers. to bring him up? You need to bring him up this fall when I'm up there doing my pig races. Oh yeah. <laughs> you gonna let him chase the pigs? No, you don't love to that. chase the pigs. The pigs race for you. It's oh. like the Daytona five hundred of pigs. No, but do do they have like grease pig contests too? No, 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 no. Why not? You have you pig races. Like grease up You're... pigs. I mean, they're, they're they're animals. Yeah, you've never seen a grease pig. I have, but you don't do contest? that anymore. You know, grease pig. Why not? Well, all right, better idea. Let's, Let's have dog fights again. Oh come on! You can't compare <laughs> dog fighting to grease pig contests. God, Dave. What the that hell are consideration you... for your? <laughs> what what kind of comparison is that? That's a, what you think? The, you think grease pig contests were? You can't grease cruel a pig. And un... Yeah. Yeah, that was that's always been huge. You don't do that. Shame on you. I know what you're talking about. Next, you're gonna be telling me that dwarf tossing is wrong or something. I don't. <laughs> I'm not saying that's wrong, but it was oh. frowned upon. By, yes. by many. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's I do some news, I, man. All right. Let's fire it up. A federal appeals court in Virginia has blocked the Trump administration's controversial travel ban. The Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond became the second court to uphold lower court rulings against the policy. Final result was 10-3 to with two abstentions. Judge Paul Niemeyer sharply dissented, saying it will make the U.S. more dangerous. The ban was uh, was to, uh, to affect six Muslim-majority countries. Iran, Syria, Yemen, Somalia, Libya, and the Sudan. Hmm. So I, I don't know if this is good, bad. I think it probably was un- unconstitutional based on uh, the religious aspect. But at the same time, I get it's like I can see both sides. What does like the, what does the Constitution have to do with the religious aspect? Well, you can't, you can't of keep state, somebody, pal. No, well, you can't keep somebody out of your country based on religion. Oh, okay. It wasn't necessarily based on religion, but I see how it could be viewed that way. No. All right. So, 
Anyway, Republican Greg Gianforte won Montana's sole House district in a special election on Thursday, despite allegedly body slamming a reporter who asked him about the GOP health care bill. The incident involving a Guardian reporter, Ben Jacobs, occurred just hours before polls opened. Multiple state newspapers dropped their endorsement of the Republican. Gianforte still uh, faces a misdemeanor assault charge. Montana is a state that Trump won by 20 points. Mm. So it's, uh, I mean, I saw, I, I, you didn't see the video of this, but you heard it and it sounded bad. And the eyewitness reports are, hey, he did basically choke slam the guy. God. But at the same time, it, it really wasn't going to affect the election. First of all, the Democrats were running a folk singer against this guy. And Montana, like I said, Montana, Trump won by 20. So folk it's not. Of, I don't have anything against folk singers as folk singers. I have something against them as, I don't know, representatives uh, for political positions. Yes, yeah. I, I do. I don't need a folk singer eating granola, singing, you know, songs that are really, really horrible. Hmm. I, no. Dave hates Sorry. folk, folk singers. I don't hate folk singers. I l- actually kind of like folk music. No, Michael okay, Rose, sure. the Boat Ashore, Hallelujah. Yes. Dave I think Bob folks. Dylan went to a folk. That, Dave, you know what? Go ahead. Hate all it's the peaceable and good people see, out there that like to sing a little Puff the Magic Dragon for you. And <laughs> it's okay. Hey, you know, see, I'm why, not here to I, judge you for judging others. Why do you Why do you have to pretend that me saying that somebody probably isn't qualified for a position, that means I hate them well, or hate their uh, horrible music? It's the way you come across. I, uh, and, and you know what? You are a big TV type, so I guess I have to give you a little bit of leeway can, there. Yeah, you got to see. You know, I mean, that's where 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 I am, where you are. Oh, right. That's I don't that's like right. <laughs> where I am and where you are. Hey, let I, me ask I, you this: okay. Who's working in his They're underwear com- right now? Okay, yeah. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Who's where? <laughs> are you Are you even wearing underwear right now? Nope. No, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm still in my jammies, to be honest with you. All right. <laughs> you keep getting oh, up at God. three and putting that. Cheap suit on and the <laughs> cheap fake coin yeah, you, you know, buy. And... My life in the salt mines, That's my it, friend. <laughs> I got my pickaxe. I got my hard hat, my lunch <laughs> pail. Come to work every day. Poor sick, not bastard. sick, doesn't matter. <laughs> if I have the sniffles, if I have the flu, if I'm dry heaving, still come into work. Oh, you're, you're, you are a man among I, men. I am. I cower in your presence. Yes, you should. I do. All right, Fremont Public Schools plan to bring back its recently canceled Bible study program next fall. The program for elementary school students was canceled this year after complaints from civil rights groups. Law does allow for two hours a week for Bible study as long as it's off school grounds. Students will have to have pers- uh, parental permission in order to participate. This is one of those issues that never should have been an issue never. in the first place. I mean, it's like, you know, I, and I'm one of these people that, that you know. think. That not only should this be allowed, I would have kids study the the Quran as well. I would say uh, Old Testament, New Testament, and the Quran because these are the most widely read pieces of literature on the planet. And I think it's good to know what other people believe. You I know, think it's a it's the know, study of faiths is a is a good I, I thing. I agree more. I, I am with you. You know, you know what I actually picked up a copy of and read through once. What I bought the Satanic Bible. Okay. And read it. I really did. I was just intellectually curious, and I wondered what it had to say. And I it's went to, uh, I think it was called Walden Books. It was oh, in yeah, I remember that Mall, was... if that gives you yes. an idea about how long I ago remember. this was. Yeah. I went in, and I said, yeah, I'd like to get a copy of this. And the guy's like, are you ready to sell your soul? And I'm like, no. I just wanted <laughs> to read curious. it and see what they had to say, you dumbass. Give me the book. <laughs> give me give me the book before I cast a spell on you. That's right. <laughs> Before I call out my goblins. Uh, yes, I, I've, I've read a little bit about Satanism and uh, paganism, and I've had arguments with people about that. So, like, not all pagans are Satanists, but all Satanists are pagans. I don't know. How and then that becomes it, it's well. I will see once again. I was a I was a religion minor in college, so you, all right. I will, so you're a religion minor in college. Yeah. Once again, you've mm-hmm. gone to qualify yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this: Did you see that story about the girl that got kicked out of the school out east? Because yes. she was pregnant, or wasn't allowed yes. wasn't allowed to walk in graduation. I heard, that, and I, this may be wrong. I had heard somebody advised her to have an abortion too. I'm not sure if that's 100 percent accurate. I was just, or I could not believe I read that story. That may that makes no sense. No, not at all. It makes no sense to not allow her to walk. I mean, we're all, you know, 
A lot of a lot of people in uh, glass houses throwing stones. Yes, they are. Don't understand that. Finally, the Muskegon Memorial Day Parade is scheduled for 9 a.m. on Monday. More than a half dozen bands and 40 marching units will make their way along uh, Morris Avenue. Yep. Is it Morris Avenue? Morris yeah, Avenue. Morris Avenue. Uh, down to Hackley Park, a musical program at the Froenthal Center will follow at 10 a.m. with veterans being honored. On Sunday, this is pretty cool, the 30th annual Lost Boat Ceremony will take place at the USS Silverside Submarine Museum. That will recognize more than 3,500 Americans who died in 52 submarines that sank during World War II. Navy SEAL Brent Gleason is the featured speaker. That have, you, sounds uh, have you ever awesome. come out and seen that? No, I haven't. I've Bring heard about Max. it, though. Spring Max, you really have to. This thing, this the Silver Sides, third most lethal submarine in the Pacific, in in World War II. It is. It's remarkable to walk through. It's mm. incredible to think that it's just sitting here in our channel, and right. it's a, uh, it's it's really a, a magnificent thing to walk through and, and learn about. Bring the kid out. Cool. You really should. Cool piece of cool piece of history. Yep. All right, sports. Uh, Tigers fall to Houston 7-6. to six. Cubs win, Cubs win, Cubs win. They beat Frisco 5-1. to one. Now, you were going nuts, I think, on Facebook uh, last night about uh, the Tigers and their announcing team, and you were all up in arms. Don't care for them. What's em. your beef? I, I, What's I your really beef? Don't, I don't care for them. I don't think Craig Monroe or Rod Allen have an ounce of credibility. I mean, look at Rod Allen. He played for the Tigers for one year. Yeah. And the rest of his career, he was in Japan getting chased around by a bunch of Japanese <laughs> you, you've, you've seen the video. Yes, I have. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's who I want calling the game. Yeah, you bet. Craig Monroe offers nothing. I I can kind of take Mario and Pemba and um, Kirk Gibson working together. I don't think they're too bad. But if you listen to Mario and Rod and then compare them to that guy that does the radio, that Dan... Uh, Dan Dickerson? Yo, Dan Dickerson's good. Yeah. I would well, put him on TV in the New York Minute as opposed to Mario and Rod. Absolutely. Well, you got to run, don't you? Oh uh, yeah, it's about about that time. All right, Dave. Oh go. wait, wait, I got to fit. I got a couple more things. Cavs oh, beat uh, Boston one thirty five to one hundred two. Uh, Nashville over Pittsburgh, or Nashville plays Pittsburgh coming up here in. A couple, okay, you can stop dinging me. Stanley Cup Finals, Indy five hundred uh, this weekend as well. So that's sports. Coca Cola six hundred two. Have a good weekend, Dave. Yeah.